in this video, we're going to do a bit of a review of what I've taught you so far about functions. And I'm going to start this way. I know I've got a lot of information on here, but we're going to take this one step at a time. Anytime you see the triangle symbol in any mathematical equation, you're going to associate that with the word delta because that's the Greek letter delta, all right? And that literally means change, okay? Now then, you see the Greek letter delta, you see the f of a plus h minus the f of a. Now, here's what's going on here. We have a member of the domain. We're going to increase that member of the domain by a certain amount, and then we're going to subtract the original domain from that, and thus come up with the f of h, which is the increase from the original domain to the new one, okay? And we have an original equation here. You have the f of x equaling 4x plus 8. When we solve this, as you can see here, you have f of a plus h minus f of a, which is 4 times a plus h plus 8 minus 4a plus 8, and I can go on and on and on, but eventually you come down here to 4h, okay? That 4 right there represents the rise of your number line. See the number line right here? That ri the, the rise of that number line is right there. That's what you've just found out. Okay? So anytime you apply this equation, f of a plus h minus f of a, to something like this, this function right here, then what you'll have is the rise. As you can see, if we were to plug in the number 1, we would have 12. We plug in the number 2, we'd have 16, and 16 minus 12 is 4. So, the points on the number line rise by 4 every time you plot a new point on the number line. Okay? Now, let's say we wanted to find the distance between one set of points and another. All right. We're going to say that the domain of the first set of points is 3, the second set is 1. So you do the equation like this, and you find out that there is a rise of 8 between the number 1 and the number 3. Now remember, both of these are no domain numbers here. Okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to find out how much distance rise-wise there is between this first set of points and this second set of points. And that's basically what you figured out. All right. So now you know how these number lines actually work, and you've now found out a way to find the range. Well, not not the range so much, but you have found out the rise. Now remember, I was talking about the the, the rise and the run in the point for, slope formula of drawing linear equations, and I talked about this in a previous video. So now you have been able to find the rise. You have found an equation that shows you the rise of a particular number line. You've also found an equation that tells you how much of a rise there is between one set of points and another set of points on a number line. Okay? The next video I'm going to talk to you about will deal directly with two number lines, okay, two linear lines that will come together. All right? And when you see that, it's going to be wow. Tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.